guys, um, we are on day 34, and I actually woke up with a zero this morning, which, um, it's a bummer, but to be honest, I wasn't really surprised about it between, uh, I knew tanning with lotion may have affected it, um, and then I also had a little bit of extra dairy yesterday, and also Tom. So, I've got a few things playing against me. I'm glad it was just a zero, not a gain, um, but... Yeah, I actually, to be honest, wasn't really disappointed when I when I stepped on the scale. So it worked out well. Plus, today's Fat Fat Sunday. So, um, and it's to, today's the last Fat Fat Sun Fat Fast Sunday of the round. So I decided to make it delicious. I mean, not that I'm not always trying to make it delicious, and I wanted to work on something a little bit lighter than I did last time. I know it sounds like an oxymoron for Fat Fast food light, but um. I accomplished it. I made a um, an omelet this morning with uh, mushrooms and green onions and cheese, and it was one egg and some heavy cream. Sounds heavy, but it actually ended up being really light because the mushrooms kind of outweighed the eggness <laughs> and the the cheese. And it was it was actually really really good. Put some hot sauce on it, kicked it up a bit, and uh, yeah, I also made frozen yogurt. It was like an orange cream frozen yogurt with orange extract and full fat Greek yogurt, a little bit of cream, um, some stevia and truvia, and it was delicious. I, I mean, so delicious, so good. I, if you are not a fan of Greek yogurt, but you really want to still try the, I mean, try and get the health benefits. Sorry, my bangs are being ridiculous today. <laughs> um, still want to try and get the health benefits of Greek yogurt because it's really good for you. Try frozen Greek yogurt. Try making it in an ice cream machine. It's so freaking good. Um, so I had that, the omelet, and then I had the frozen yogurt. And then I had, um, I made a coconut curry soup that I put over zucchini noodles with a little bit of green onion. And I'm going to have that tonight um, at work for dinner. And then um, I'm also going to get some, some Starbucks with some heavy cream in it because I'm loving Starbucks this round. Don't know what it is, but I am. I'm loving me some coffee, um, and then I'm also gonna have an ounce of Mac nuts. So it's all relatively light compared to the last fat fast that I did, and um, and actually the percentages are higher this time. So I'm kind of satisfied with that. Um, I'm like I said yesterday, not gonna be doing fat fast in phase three, but I was thinking this morning that some of the foods that I make that are phase three foods could be fat fast friendly. So I will take note of them as I'm making them if I think about it because a lot of my phase three will be moving, unpacking, being in Oregon, being uh, here. And for Kristen who keeps asking if I'm going to the Oregon picnic, I don't know when it is. I will be in Oregon from the 13th to, or from the 12th to the 22nd. 23rd. I don't know. We haven't figured out the exact date yet. 22nd or 23rd, I think. Um, so I don't know when it is or if I will be in Portland when they're having the picnic. But if I am, I'll definitely try and make it there. Um, but I thought it was this month, though, wasn't it? So, yeah. Um, I will try and make note of the, the phase three foods that would be fat, fast, friendly, and make notes and percentages and take pictures and put them in the correction day folder for you guys, too. So, um, I think I'll leave it at that with you today, and um, I'll let you guys know the results tomorrow of Fat Fast, and then it's VLCD until then, because my round ends the end of this week. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.